we are about to have a classic literature moment here right now so between sherlock holmes and john watson there is always this tension right things which are super obvious to sherlock are always or most of the time mind blowing to john watson and john is like how did you do that how did you even come to this deduction or conclusion tell me explain this to me right and sherlock says you see john but do you observe or or wait he says something like you see but you don't observe so now let's come back you must have seen many keys on your keyboard but have you observed why some of the keys are larger in size than the others or why is that so in your car between brake pedal and speed pedal brake pedal is more central and it has a larger size or why most call to action buttons look like this and not like this the answer is fairly simple these designs are governed by a mathematical and a psychological model known as fitts law it was developed by paul fitts in the early 20th century it happens to be one of the most common sense ux laws out there but it is also the one which is most frequently violated so we will ignore the mathematical equation what we will do is first we will have a very surface level understanding of this model then we will dig deep and then we will do some examples together the surface level concept is fitts law tell, tells us that how quickly a person can select a target or in ui ux context how quickly a user can select a button so now let's dig deep a bit fitts law tells us that it is more optimum it is more efficient for a target to be larger in size and to be closer to you than be smaller in size and further away from you so let me explain this as a ux designer instead of creating or designing a button that is small in size and that is very far away from the reach of my end user i will rather design a button which has a large size and which and which is more closer to the reach of my end user am i confusing you okay the examples will make it clear but for now just remember two things one is the size of that target size of that button and second thing is the distance of that button from the reach of your end user let's do some examples together and hopefully this will crystallize your concept and in your next ui ux design project you will ace this law okay so we need to take care about two things here one is size of that target size of that button and other is the distance of that button from the reach of our end user the size needs to be bigger the distance from the last active position of our end user needs to be smaller now let's do an example here okay, so assuming you are designing for a right-handed person they will use they'll be using their thumb right you have two options now one is to have the button here which is large in size and has a smaller distance with the thumb or you can have the button here you will never go with this according to fitts law you will go with this because the speed to click on this target will be much higher than the speed to click this target so now where to put the login option login button there are two options one you put it let's say Okay, so look, after the user is done with writing his or her password, her last active position is this. So the distance of our targets needs to be smaller, right? So this will be a much viable option of a login button rather than this one. So you need to have that target close to your last active position and its size needs to be relatively bigger. This is okay or you can even do this or Right, another example, whenever you um, click on the right button or left button, this drop down menu appears, right? And it has all these options like refresh, open with, new folder, all this stuff. So look here, this is your last active position and instantly the distance between your last active position to the next target is so less and the size is re relatively bigger. So your speed from doing that right press to clicking on refresh or clicking on new folder is very very high so this is fits law so now when you're designing for 
right handed people this area is relatively easy for them to click on this all brown area is relatively medium easy for them to click on and the rest of this blue is super hard for them to reach right because of the thumb size and everything similarly for left handed people and this is super hard for them to reach from their left hand so yes this was fits law in action just remember that it will become more optimum and efficient for you if your target area is very much closer to the reach of your end user and its size is relatively bigger for more videos like these please subscribe to my youtube channel xy the last and let me know in the comment box what other design problem you want me to solve for you take care bye